Guess what's on my quick Christmas list? Yeah. <laughs> it's coming. Hey everyone, and welcome again to Go for Launch Mercury. This is Alpha 061. I, I talked with the developers, and they are still working on this game. Um, they've added some new uh, re entry um, effects, uh, and the uh, it's all it'll all be in the patch notes. I'll, I'll link those on there. And uh, as soon as I get uh, my HTC, I'm gonna do a full coverage of this game on my new blog, so it's dedicated to indie developers. So I'm super happy about the site, uh, always happy to cover, to cover developers. Um, I've talked with the developers of this game, they're very involved. It's a small team, so it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's quite an undertaking. So uh, let's hop in. I, I, I'm interested to see uh, some of the uh, new features and uh, we'll see how it goes. Congressman Thomas. So as normal, I'm playing with uh, non-VR. I love the uh, sound effects as the, you pan around, you get the uh, different and I will assure you Ambient sounds. It's pretty cool. I am delighted to be here. So there's still just one mission. To be here on this occasion. It's the fr Freedom Seven. Noted for knowledge. So we're gonna leave the helper on, and we're gonna go ahead and start. In a state noted for strength, and we stand in need of all three. For we meet in an hour of change and challenge, in a decade of hope and fear. I'm said Ramrod straight. Staring at the launching pad where the redstone sits. A squawk box just announced, T minus six minutes and counting. This is Charles von Fremd at the press site. All right, so we are on the launch pad. Minus five minutes on counting. As you can see, there's a checklist as before. So let's go ahead and run through our checklist. We can zoom in and out. This is going to be fantastic in virtual. I, I can't wait. And I know that's a lot of what they're working on right now is uh, some of the issues with the various VR units. So let's see. Hi, Watt. Uh, I don't think it, it, it doesn't really matter what order. As you can see, even with the controller and the keyboard, I, I have full control of the craft. As you can see right there, I, I can rotate around. So let's go ahead and flip some of these switches. We want to go to UHF. Let's see, and then you can see it'll check off what you've done. We need the beacon switch. Squid is armed. Recording. The retro dreads to arm. And then uh, we can uh, go ahead and tell the tower we are ready for launch. Alright, if I hit the space bar, I get an external view. Commands from the control, mission control. And if you look over here, there's a card right here. It tells you if you're playing with a keyboard, just what you need. And uh, everything's functional in the cockpit. Uh, there goes the camera. I can test all the lights. Turn the cam and f fan on and off. Here we go, hold on. Oh, 
Oh yeah, baby. the stratosphere should be about ready for separation the actual sounds from the launch all real Some retro in there. Turn around, started. Assuming orbital attitude. SCS is okay. Control movements. Alright, so we need to manual push. And the ACA selection for fly by wire. Switching to manual pitch. Switching to manual control of the pitch attitude. Just ever so slightly making a little adjustments. Trajectory looks a okay. Pitch is okay. Pitch control a okay. Switching to manual yaw. Switching to manual yaw. Medical monitor roll. Yes. Fly by wire. Control is smooth. Pilot reports mission very smooth. You notice. Retro one. Retro rocket number one has fired. Very smooth. 
Pitch out. Okay, Buster, re entry attitude. Switching ASCS normal. Beginning to roll into re entry attitude. ASCS is okay. Automatic control system operating properly. Uh, switching HF for radio check. Vice President, man of human history. So there's the two rockets you have to look forward to, and actually you can play one of them. So you have two missions available to you right now. You've got a three-orbit mission, which is pretty lengthy. We, we, we did part of that in our first video. Um, and then you, and that, that is in the Atlas. Um, and then, of course, the Freedom the mission we just did. So... The game's looking good. Um, I'm going to end the video here. I'm looking forward to getting VR and for the upcoming patch the developer said they're working on right now. Um, a lot of content planned out for this game. so And uh, I can't imagine how great it's going to look in uh, virtual reality. So thanks for watching, you guys. This is Razor from Razor's Edge. As always, support any developers and... Uh, Support my cause. Uh, I've got a link at the bottom of the page. It's got um, a lot of indie developers that I cover and support, and this is no different. Um, I uh, can't thank you guys enough for your support. So take care. This is Razor. Until next time, I'll see you when I see you.